Hey everybody, welcome back to my replays. So yeah, this time around I'm gonna be doing Mortal Kombat 3 on the Super Nintendo. Playing as Smoke. Many of you may be wondering right now, but wait, this is Mortal Kombat 3, the regular Mortal Kombat 3, not Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Is uh, Smoke supposed to be here? Yes, but as a hidden character that I'm going to unlock right now. There it is. You have to use the cooler stuff uh, cheat by pressing select A, B, uh, right, left, down, down, up, up on the menu. And then you can unlock it. So I'm getting 30 credits and enable smoke. I could enable the quick finish actually to, to perform fatalities with only one button because with this keyboard, I'm not sure if I'll be able to perform fatalities or any sort of mode playing as smoke. So I'm doing it right now. And let's uh, choose the middle one. The difficulty will be increased regardless of the difficulty you're playing on or regardless of the tower you end up selecting if you decide to play as smoke. As a hidden character is supposed to have more abilities and shit and the difficulty will keep um, as the most difficult one, I think, regardless of the settings you have. So yeah. But I'm supposed to be able to overcome this because Smoke, you know, is one of those characters that if you know how to use a couple of good moves, even though I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Okay, I'm gonna take him to the subway. Yeah, you can perform fatalities with one button after each round. If you lose the second round, or actually, for example, if you lose the first round and then win the second, you cannot perform a fatality. Only it's possible to do that on the first and third rounds. Let's take him out there. You already saw the subway thing, so... Gonna be doing something else. Okay, getting a hang to this. Uh, let's go for the fatality. Oh, yeah, a smoke's gonna be more difficult to do that. At least the one that makes the earth explode. I don't think that's possible to do with only one button. If my memory doesn't fail on me. There we go. Oh, okay. I think I meant to change the stage this fast. Let's go for the other fatality. Which is closer. Probably it doesn't allow me to do it. The other fatality because you need to be like all the way across the screen could be a little bit of a problem in that sense oh what getting corner is not a good thing and yeah see I I'm alive this happens every time when you know the quick finish mode is enabled and Basically, the you win one round and the other guy wins the other, or vice versa. There we go. No, don't start your bullshit. No, he's blocking absolutely everything. There we go. Friendship. Okay, what was the button for animalities? X, yeah. And for babalities? Can you do babalities in this? Yes, you can, but... There we go. Yeah. Uh, that's animality. Okay, I know, I think I know how to do babalities. I don't really want to make a mistake there. But there should be a button for those. So 
sometimes it like blocks itself. It doesn't allow me to perform a full combo. It's like it drops. There we go. And I'm alive still, even if it says finish him. <laughs> That's why I could hit him. I usually do that. I used to do that when I was a kid. All right, let's do it again. Let's see what it does with R. It should allow me to do the Babality. Yes. But, you know, I'm a little confused because I think on Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, if I press R, it will perform the Babality. The, sorry, the Brutality for me. I'm gonna make this a two-parter one, by the way. I mean, I'm gonna be... This would be like the only replay I'm gonna be uploading this week anyway. Regardless if it is only one or two parts. Well, it depends, you know. I might end up doing one. But it will be like the only replay you will see this week. Next week, little spoiler here. I'm gonna be working on... Versus Castlevania on the arcade. Let me see if I can perform the other one. No, it won't let me because... I'm pressing too many buttons on... Or too many keys on the keyboard. That's a shame. Yeah, let's go for this one again. We already saw all the other moves. Of course, when we get to a uh, pit, shotgun towers, or stuff like that, let's see if we can make it to the pit three to begin with. Okay, if I get uppercutted or whatever, I'm going to rewind because the back tracks you in in the our stages, and after this. I want to play Shao Kahn Tower. Even if I lose here, I don't really care too much. Remember, I got 30 credits. Fight! No. Okay, he's not uppercutting. You know, I feel more... Okay, this guy is not going to use uppercuts. That's good news. So now I can fight with everything I've got. I think the only move that I can perform, even if this guy is still like... He's, he's blocking everything. No, no, that's unfair. How come... Yeah, I can't perform friendships regardless. I'm both celebrate. Yeah, the reason why I... Re I, I really got frustrated and decided to rewind was because he was... Yeah, on danger, and after three attacks, he was still alive. Because of blocking. It shouldn't be like that. Okay, now I'm appealing. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go for animality. Now I can go play... A shotgun tower. So if it's possible, I'm gonna be doing the pit fatality a couple of times, and the victim this time is Shiva. Okay, let's go. One of my favorite pit fatalities together with the pit 3 like in general from all Mortal Kombat's I'll do it again by the way
Flowers? Yes, sir. Fuck you. Twice. It's been dropping... Okay, weird things happening. During the entire battle, it was dropping green blood, and now when it comes to the spikes, it drops... Red. And a lot less blood than before. Sindel. Oh yeah, there is no cemetery in this game, so after this I, we are going to be playing P3 right away. So we're going to be able to see all pit fatalities in this playthrough, which is great. Only one fatality is you're not going to be able to see in this run specifically. Uh, Babality. Actually, this is like the first time in, in, in any playthrough for Mortal Kombat game, anything, you know, any of the Mortal Kombat games that I ever activate, well, in this case, it would be possible to activate in Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate, the quick finish mode. Actually, I don't know, I, don't, I was like so proud of performing the fatalities by myself. You know, but at this point, I don't really give a shit anymore. Got it. Fatal it again. Eat it, bitch. Yeah, we're on the 10 minute mark, but you know, we're not too, uh, you know, far away from the end. So, you know, let's continue on. Yeah, we're pretty much on Motaro. So, yeah, that's a good thing. P3. Awesome. We actually made it. But they, I want to win the first round at least. Fuck you. Yeah, Super Nintendo version is not bad. Actually, I give the I, I've got the impression that these um, spinning spikes are much bigger in this uh, Super Nintendo version compared to the arcade. And it looks equally cool. So cool that I'll do it again, if I'm allowed to. So, there you go. Right in between the two. Okay, now let's go for Motaro. That could actually give me some trouble. Especially since, in harder difficulties, and even in easier difficulties, at least in the case of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, it abuses fireballs. I mean, any doubt about it by now? <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Just because of the fireballs. And they don't even allow you to stand up. <laughs> oh man. Good times. Sometimes it will lower the difficulty. I mean, I really hope so. No, I shouldn't because it's smoke. It's meant to be harder. From the beginning. Okay, I'm being lagging right now. Okay, of course, they needed to block at the very end. I've gotten enough credits. I'm playing as smoke. Actually, this year I did a um, smoke run, but on Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 arcade version, but in Spanish. But basically, this is a replay. Remember, I did the Mortal Kombat Super Nintendo, and then I did Mortal Kombat 3. Oh my god, I failed there. I think I didn't get close enough for the uppercut. There we go. That's one of the tri strategies. When you kick him while he's in the air, he's gonna like get paralyzed for a couple seconds, then you get the chance to run towards him and uppercut him for extra hits, for extra damage. No. Fast forward. 
Oh, of course, I cannot perform fate tolerance against this guy, so... Nothing to be surprised about. Oh, he's blocking everything now. Oh yeah, I forgot that sort of strategy. Yeah, but of course... We have to remember that we have these fucking fireballs. Oh my god. It's going to take a while. Not even Shao Kahn is willing to take this long, trust me. Motaro is always the issue. Why did he make such a shitty jump? I'm talking about smoke. I meant to do a short jump with a kick. That would have worked for sure. Okay, mutual hits. It's not a bad thing. But you have to run towards him all the time. Ah, uh, why didn't you uppercut? No, got grabbed, motherfucker. It's like, when the game gives you the chance, I make mistakes. And when I'm trying to do good, this happens. The boss gets crazy. No, don't do that. God damn it. Horrible time for the window to at crazy. There we go. This is the difficulty is not going to lower, so I, I better get good because otherwise this is going to be a long ass playthrough. Longer than it should be, that's for sure. And he's not falling for the classic traps. And I got a little bit lucky, actually. Those are not the intended ways, those multiple kicks. Oh, okay, that's convenient. He blocked the uppercut, but... He doesn't jump that often. You know. Okay. Yeah, this was between luck and, and good patterns. Well, good patterns basically as in luck. <laughs> so luck only, <laughs> basically. And probably now it's going to be over. Yeah, those kind of jumps have to happen more often. See? He's blocking the uppercuts though. And abusing fireballs, of course, when he's like cornered or something. No, oh, it's going to be... Almost impossible to win this in two rounds. Usually the difficulty increases even more. Or the AI is more aggressive in, in the second round after you win the first one. Happens with the bosses in general though. No, no, no. No. He's blocking way too much. No, he blocks way too much. What about trying high kick? Will it make any difference in that sense? Does it cause more damage? That's a good question, actually. Okay, now the strategy worked. Because he was making more jumps and get him himself more exposed. But now in round two, things should be a lot harder. No, they, they had a good start for a change. He's driving me way often. Alright, that was relatively close. I've got some hope. No. 
no, he's blocking too much. Make some jumps. Wow, he still got me? The fireball, I mean? God damn it. It's frustrating as fuck. The one fight. No. It's like in round two and three, he doesn't make any fucking jump. He runs towards you, he grabs you. Well, the grabbing thing is a matter of proximity, but. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I've been waiting for. Yeah, he, he walks too much towards you. In some of the runs. Can I finish those two hits with something else? Okay, yeah. I need some of some more of those jumps, the tail attack in this second round for me to have more chances to hit him. Because he starts with fireballs, blocks way too much, walks all the time, he doesn't jump anything. The teleport is common, it's not a normal thing, so... I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do something like this, but you know, he's blocking already. Nah. Fucking fireball. Ah, wrong move. Make a jump, god damn it. Dude, I was so close! Yeah, a bunch of accents happening there. I should have done this a two-parter one. <laughs> it's like I'm getting closer and closer, but... Nice. Yeah, that was actually my doing completely. Anticipating some of the moves. Oh, I forgot about this. Jump around him. He's gonna be blocking sometimes, he's gonna be receiving the kick. But most likely he won't grab me. I forgot this was a thing. I completely forgot. Oh my god, yes. I forgot that was a thing in this game. Wow, me forgetting techniques? I forgot that was really, really good in general. Oh, man. Now I'm gonna get stuck another 20 minutes in Shao Kahn. No, not really. I'm, I, I, bet, I bet I won't. I bet I won't. Oh, you are pathetic. Taunting in the middle of a fight. Oh my god, I was so close. Yeah, winning in the first round against Shao Kahn is kind of a difficult task. And probably winning the second will be even more difficult. <laughs> nice. No! Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? I was supposed to be close to him, or next to him even. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so assy. I was at the same distance, makes no sense. Nice. Almost there. 
Okay, good thing he didn't throw a fireball because I would have been dead by now. First fight. See? Fucking Motaro was the problem. Actually, I was the problem because I forgot about that thing. Jumping around Motaro and kicking him as he's trying to punch. But he won't grab me. Oh, man. Finally. So, yeah. I beat Mortal Kombat 3 as the hidden character to this game, Smoke. Smoke was a friend, an ally of Sub-Zero when they both tried to escape from being turned into machines by the Ninja Clan. But Smoke is captured and transformed into a cyborg with a mission to find and kill his old partner. Well, I didn't fight Sub-Zero in this one. So yeah, he was a ninja that became a cyborg. But Smoke soon finds himself being pursued by Shao Kahn's minions. He learns that he still has a soul and his true mission is, is the destruction of the old world invaders. He defeats Khan and saves the world, but is forever trapped in his artificial body. Too fucking sad. Alright, that was Mortal Kombat 3 on Super Nintendo playing as Smoke, the hero character to the game. So I really wanna thank you for watching. Next week, I will be back playing Versus Castlevania and Arcade. I'm gonna warn you though, I'm gonna be using infinite health like I did on my original playthrough. So yeah, get ready for that. Actually, now that you probably are about to ask what's the difference between Castlevania versus Castlevania? Nothing. Actually, it's basically the same game, but on the title screen it says insert coin, like it was a real arcade game, that would be like the only difference. <laughs> yes, that was outstanding indeed. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next week.